Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech of Friendly. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can convert the storage or the hard disk of your old laptop or used laptop uh, into a portable one. Now many times uh, when the motherboard or something happens to the motherboard of your laptop or in the, there might be scenarios where there is no other option rather than throwing away the laptop because your laptop might be older than five years and no one really want to use it again. And uh, so in that scenario, uh, you you need the story you need the data in that laptop uh, and, but you can also convert that into a portable hdd and uh, carry it around or there might be scenarios where you um, uh, you might be upgrading the storage of your laptop and uh, you really don't want to throw away the old storage so you can uh, use it as a portable hdd so today i'm going to show you how to not only convert your hard drive not only remove or replace the hard disk of your uh, laptop but uh, to convert it into a portable hdd uh, so let's get started so this laptop was dropped by my brother so it's 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 i think about eight or nine years old and uh, uh, the motherboard of this laptop is shorted and uh, he don't want to change it uh, change the motherboard because he has already bought a new one uh, but uh, he want the data inside the uh, hard drive and not only the data he want to convert the hard drive into a portable hdd so i'm going to do that so i'm using uh, i'm going to show this on a hp 630 laptop uh, so for the demonstration purpose uh, now this goes for the older laptops because in the newer laptops uh, chances are there that the storage is sorted to the motherboard uh, at least the laptops where you can't uh, upgrade the storage also uh, this is for the 7 uh, 7 mm uh, uh, storages uh, because the newer versions of the storages might be much more compact and uh, small uh, so remember th this is uh, essentially for the second or third generation of laptops uh, which we are speaking about in this video right so uh, let me get started so first what you have to do is uh, uh, earlier the uh, battery of the laptops used to be uh, removable so you have to remove the uh, battery So when you, there might be a latch uh, in the side of the battery enclosure, you just have to pull that latch and it will uh, come off easily. So this used to be the, th this used to be a thing in the second generation, second and third generation of laptops earlier in the early 2000s and early to, uh, 2010s. Uh, now, once you pull out that, uh, in most of the laptops, uh, the back enclosure or the back, uh, the way, the access to the storage and the RAM is gonna be uh, through the uh, battery uh, chamber. So here you can see there's a lap, uh, screw over here. So I'm gonna remove that screw. I'm gonna put the link to all the products that I'm using in, in this video in the description below. So don't worry about it. You can uh, quickly buy this. Uh, screwdriver the heads or whatever from Amazon or wherever eBay or whatever the links are I'm gonna put it in the so once you uh, remove that screw you have to lift the enclosure up and uh, move it away now here you can see the RAM uh, enclosure or the RAM chamber uh, there is one more screw which will give us access to the hard disk uh, panel you have to remove that screw as well So once you uh, remove that uh, screw, you're gonna have to lift this chamber as well. Once you lift that chamber up, you're gonna be, uh, there, there's gonna be two screws that you're gonna have to remove. Now this is the standard 7mm uh, uh, hard disk uh, enclosure uh, that uh, we used to find in all the second and third generation laptops earlier. So you're gonna have to remove this screws as well you don't essentially need to pull the screws out you just have to uh, 
loosen it up a bit and then uh, you can lift up the enter uh, panel and the uh, essentially so now what you have to do is you have to lift it up a bit and then okay so you have to move it a bit like this use a tweezer or something like this prior or something and then uh, push it up a bit and then move it out right so it will come off let me show you how it is done it's a bit hard but definitely you can one sec second let me loosen the screw a bit more so this has come off good right once you get this let me remove this screw as well completely now what you have to do is you have to slowly remove this adapter over here now don't damage this adapter because once you damage this adapter you have to change this entire uh, pcb over here so be careful that uh, not to damage this adapter if you want to replace your hard drive uh, if not uh, uh, i mean i would recommend either way i would recommend uh, be a bit careful with this cable or any cable now this is the uh, hard drive uh, now you cannot uh, insert this entire thing into the port portable hdd enclosure uh, for that you're gonna have to remove these four screws from the side now even if you want to replace it with a new hard drive uh, the hard drive is gonna come like this only this part uh, this enclosures you're gonna have to remove this hard drive from this enclosure and then uh, put put the new one uh, it, into this so just remove uh, these four screws so as you can see uh, I have removed uh, the hard drive uh, enclosure uh, so uh, like I have removed all the four screws uh, from the hard drive now you're gonna be a bit careful while uh, prying out uh, this because there is an adhesive at the back that uh, you need to pull it out from uh, because it's gonna be attached to the hard drive using this adhesive now when you replace your uh, uh, replace your storage uh, your hard drive uh, with a new one you're gonna have to uh, you know stick it like apply new adhesive and then uh, stick the enclosure to the hard drive and then uh, stick it uh, back inside uh, so now i'm gonna show you guys uh, how you can uh, convert this uh, storage into a portable hard drive So I have got this uh, uh, portable uh, SDD enclosure from Amazon. Uh, this is of uh, Cablet and uh, uh, this is uh, this is about uh, uh, this is about uh, seven to the, the, you will get this uh, below ten bucks, ten dollars or uh, five hundred rupees INR. Uh, so I bought this from uh, Amazon and. Uh, this is completely tool free so you don't you don't need any kind of tools or anything uh, to you know uh, you know fix this set it up or uh, put your hard drive into this so uh, it comes with this uh, uh, hard drive enclosure as well as this uh, uh, this type usb type 3 uh, cable so you have to just uh, gently uh, pull the top layer out of this and it will come off you don't need uh, any kind of tools or anything uh, to put your hard drive in so what you have to do is you have to take your uh, hard drive right and uh, so there is this uh, cable the cable that you can find here it is over here as well 
right so you have to position uh, so there is this uh, that there is this uh, small bit and the uh, big uh, larger bit uh, so you have to you have to see and uh, match it accordingly uh, just as per the cable so you have to gently uh, push the hard drive in like this and uh, it's in I mean simple as that then put the enclosure back in like this there you go I mean just converted your uh, U storage into a portable hard drive now I'm gonna show you how it pops up inside the system when you connect this to a laptop so over to the laptop screen so as you can see I have connected the hard drive to my laptop and uh, it has uh, brought up all the partitions inside that uh, hard drive now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge all these uh, uh, partitions into one I'm going to recover the data from these and uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to copy the data into my uh, PC and then I'm going to, I'm going to format all these drives and uh, merge it into a single, uh, single uh, drive uh, so that it can be used as a single drive and you can store data into that. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can either use the disk partition or the disk management utility that comes with the windows or you can install Aesis partition manager. Either way, you can uh, do this. And uh, so uh, I'm not going to show you the data. So uh, uh, once I format the uh, all the drives, I'll show you how to merge them. So as you can see, I have bought up the disk management uh, uh, utility. You can uh, go to this uh, by searching uh, disk management in, in the search bar and uh, it will pop up or you can press Windows plus X and uh, from there uh, you can uh, go to disk management uh, utility. So as you can see, it's bringing up two, two uh, disks. Disk one is my primary disk and uh, disk one is my newly created hard drive. So what I'm going to do is get off this volume so that uh, it becomes unallocated. Now I have copied all the data into my uh, PC. So I would recommend doing that first before uh, handling the disk. All right, so now this has become a single partition as you can see. Now I will create a new simple volume. Let me take the entire uh, this entire uh, memory. Next, finish. It is creating the so as you can see it has gone from the uh, this thing what I can see uh, file explorer and uh, Right, so it has created the uh, new volume over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the hard drive. I'm going to recon reconnect it and then I'll show you. So eject. Right. 
I can reconnect it. And like as you can see, it will show up the new volume. So it will SDD rename it to his name and there you go he has got a whole new 300 gb hard drive at his disposal so this is how you can uh, convert your uh, used uh, or old laptops uh, hard drive into a new whole new uh, storage device so that's it so i hope this video was uh, helpful to all of you and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos like these more techno knowledgeable videos like these and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna post from now on i'm gonna post regularly and uh, i'm gonna try to bring up more uh, quality co content like this to you guys and uh, do, do, don't forget to check out my other videos uh, and uh, share my videos uh, to your friends and family uh, who might need these who might find these videos helpful into their day-to-day uh, -day life so that's it for this video. See you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.